and the door. Down the corridor, there's another door. Hey, Emma, you want to maybe look around for what triggers that giant lion statue to shoot whatever it did last time? Didn't you give him a potion of healing? I did, but that's more for like emergency use. I think just give it to Wave. I'm fine. Do you want to put, pump the entire thing into wave? I would just Finn have. Uh, I, I mean, mean I Finn could, could use some, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could use it a little bit, but another, another, another half and half. Okay, then give me, give me that eighteen d six and see how much you get. Those are not D6s. Those are D20s. And how many third level swords do you have left? No. But she still has. But she has still two fourth level ones. Man, we okay. really might need a short rest. We're okay for now, I guess, with that at least. Uh, half and half? So, wait. Oh. That's 71. 71. So, like 36 to wave and 35 to fin. Cool. Yeah. I am feeling a lot better. <coughs> Oh, that's good. I think he meant Finn. <laughs> he oh, might be feeling a little better as well. All right. I'm feeling way better. What's next, guys? Emma's looking for like traps, right? Where? Maybe start at the statue and. All right. So we walk up to the lion, right? I'm sorry about that. Give me an investigation check then. To make it faster, I'll also do an investigation check on this side. See if there's any. I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually look at the tiles on the floor and the walls to see if there's anything that would trigger something. Emma, there doesn't seem to be any kind of mechanism or even opening or anything on that lion statue. It, it seems quite broken and decrepit, and you're not even sure it's a lion. It might have been, you know, a panther or a dog. We're gonna die. Painful, horrible deaths. We're gonna die. Adrish, you investigate the four floor tiles. But you don't seem to see any kind of. I also look at the wall tiles and stuff like that. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's 
you're just sort of expressing this out loud. Bain looks around and oh, we we can't stop now. They might be just around the corner. If we um, if we stop now, they will get a they could get away to learn of our attack. We still um, have the element of surprise. Do we? I, I'm happy to keep pushing on, but we we may it's just to keep it in mind, Bain, we may have to take a break to recoup so that we're able to fight once we do face them. <coughs> anyway, um... <coughs> well, if you wish, I'll, I'll take the front. I'll take the... I'll take the brunt of the attacks then. You support me from behind. Yo, Hig, do you think this is going to change the fact that he's going to roll an initiative that's behind everyone else? <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, Hig. Nah, I'm going to continue bro. to this door and check it for traps. Okay, uh, give me an investigation check. <coughs> so I roll a one. Oh, not a, that's still pretty bad. The door does not appear trapped in any way. It is locked. You're up, Emma. <laughs> sure. What, I already, what, what are you? What are you doing, Emma? I just checked it. It's fine. There's nothing there. Yeah, there's definitely not there, not trapped there, Emma. Can you fight? <laughs> as as I often am, you see. <laughs> How about we do not all stand in front of the door when we open this? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> you stand between the three slags. <laughs> Just hiding behind me. Yo, I just go behind the drift legs and just like pull his knees together to cover me from the front. <laughs> you just hide behind his cape. So, poison frog? No, 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 Emma. Uh, so, as as you fiddle around uh, with the door's lock, it takes you a bit of effort and a bit of strain and a bit of cursing. But you sh you shove the lock big in and wiggle it around. A, a lot. <laughs> and with the final shove, the door swings, op swings open. And then you hear down the corridor. Hey, did you hear something? Yeah. Something down the corridor. Hey, you go check it out. Oh, you go check it out. Oh, fuck you, I'll check it out. Are you hiding, guys? <laughs> what? Nicola, just... The door is closed, right? No, the uh, ammo left it open. Like, wide open? 
Yeah. Or is it like? No, no, no. She she sort of strained against it while finicking with the lockpick, and it, she pushed it open. Okay, I'm gonna hold the uh, charm person. All right. With the orb. Be do be do do be do. Oh. <laughs> You're trying to charm as. A, a hooded, robed figure walks around the corner with a scimitar in hand, looking yep. for something to kill. Or Sorry, some... something to check out. Yeah, something, you know, a noise. Yeah, he's getting a noise. He's not hostile yet. Oh, he's always hostile. These, these fuckers are constantly hostile. Fuck you. Let's make him do a wisdom saving throw. He almost succeeded. As I as I as I say that, his dark devotion I... gives him advantage. All right, I'm I'm gonna just put my fingers up to my uh, lips and just shh, and then gesture with my fingers to come to me. Anyway, he, he he stands there for a moment, t- takes takes a look back down the corridor and turns, begins walking forward, closes the door behind himself. Hey, oh. friend, I'll whisper to oh. Keep your voice down, keep your voice down. This, you're, this you're, you're, you're not supposed to be here. Of course I am. The boss called me. The boss? The yeah. boss said nothing about. Oh, I don't think your boss and my boss are the same people. Oh. But but he is, you know, the big boss. I you're from them? Oh yeah. yes, you you oh, I, I remember, I think. But so how's how's everything going here? Good, good, very good. All the villagers taken care of? <laughs> yes, they are taking care of. Come, come. Let's wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, a... let's, let's... let's go have a drink. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Oh, come, come on. Oh, come. I, I have a secret mission for you. Come. Time to celebrate. No, no, no. There is still much to be done, friend. Come, come. And I'll bring him over here. Give me a persuasion check. With advantage, since he's charmed? Yes. Um, uh, okay, that is my persuasion. It's not the best role, but it's still pretty good. It's, you know, still, like, you're, you're fucking... <laughs> I, I am a charming day. Your 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 purple eyeball just rolls around a bit, and you know, you oh, keep forgetting the drift is like, ah, uh, yo, like when a drift is trying to persuade someone, does this like purple eyeball just rotate at weird angles? <laughs> sure. In this case, it probably sells it more. <laughs> so, yeah, I am an evil cultist. <laughs> Wait, is it like is it like a purple like is it just a swollen mass or does it have like a purple like iris as well? <laughs> no, it, it it is just a swirling mass. It, it is the orb literally in his eye socket. <laughs> My brother, his wife is gonna be like, what? Nah, what did you actually do, you clown? <laughs> you know, I would have been, I would have been okay with like a earring or or something, but no. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, this is not the one. Well, yeah, uh, the, the guy sort of turns back and begrudgingly, sort of dragging his feet, comes up. What do you want? So you sort of usher him past Wave, sort of drooling. And wait, being... wait, wait, who is this guy? Do we catch one? 
a drist uh, charm person. Oh, okay. And, and and you see Bane is just you know, his hand is trembling on his <laughs> sword, but he's sort of looking away, still trying to be calm because he sees that you're trying to do something. But it's very clear he wants to plunge a blade through this guy's face. Okay. What what was the what was the what was the name of the fucking the guy dude the warlock? <laughs> I have it written down somewhere, but I, I need to go through my notes. One second. Give me a second. Uh, no, that's not it. That's not it. Um, no. Did we meet him before the Arcane Invocatorium? That was... Uh, no, that's not it. What are you looking for? I'm just looking for the name of that... Uh, like the Paladin slash Warlock that we fought at the main fight, at the big fight. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah. I have it written down somewhere. I'm just trying to go through. I want to say Donny Darko, but it's not. We changed his. <laughs> we changed his name. Oh, fuck. Donny Darko. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, it's not that. It's in Bay of the Sword Coast. Uh, I don't know if you. I want to be, you know, mer- a merciful uh, god for you guys. Uh, hang on. Just give me a minute. Dario, Darius Bloodman. Yeah. Lord Darius Bloodman. Yeah. He's not my lord. <laughs> Why would I call him that? Also, uh, I'll just say, uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one of Darius's friends. Uh, he sent me here uh, personally. I have a what, little bit what? of work to do. Then, then you're definitely not supposed to be here. Why? What happened? Did he say something? No, th- this is Lord Ashgrave's pos- uh, operation. Wait, what did he say? Lord this is Lord. we're not supposed to be together ever. You have no, to get this, out quick. No, it's a, it's an ex, it's it's an exception. This is a secret place. Nobody knows about us. The, the, there are no exceptions. Fine. The tree shall ex- not mix. The 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 eyes starts like like foaming like just sh- foaming. shadows yeah. like, <laughs> foaming with shadows like foaming <laughs> with shadows a little bit <laughs> like. <laughs> just bubbling. <laughs> oh, they, they they make an exception for me once in a while. You've probably not heard of me. Okay. Bit... Are you trying to intimidate this man? I'm saying it's a little bit above your pay grade. And yes, I'm trying to intimidate the man. Give, give, give me that intimidation check then. Advantage? Sure. Char- charm works both ways, right? All... all... Yeah. Well, man, my rules are not good, but... <laughs> hopefully, so high as hell. Ho- hopefully he's a, 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 <coughs> either. Uh, that's... Yep, he's intimidated by swirling bubbles. I guess the shadow bubbles. Shadow bubbles. Yeah, of, of course, uh, sir. Uh, but I, I, I oh, should. No, we're not supposed to mix, but. Bloodmain had a message. But, but, but Lord, Lord Ashgrave have... must be notified immediately. Lord Ashgrave, I will notify him myself. Where is he? Uh, he's, he's in the ritual chamber. Has the ritual begun yet? I think we're behind schedule, aren't we? Oh, of course not. We, we have plenty ahead of ritual. Did, did you have... get enough people in that village there? I thought there were supposed to be more people. Oh, no, 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 it's it's not a bad. Oh, I, I I'm not I'm not supposed to talk about it even to others. Oh, but you'll talk to me, won't you? We're friends. Uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll guess. I won't so. tell anyone. Come on. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh I, <laughs> you would not believe what Lord Ashgrave is holding out on. Oh, what, what is it? What is he doing? Is it, is it, is it something I need to know about? Oh, no, no, no. oh, but uh, Lord Bloodman has must must have already received his portion of the of the yield. Oh, Lord Bloodman, yes, but you know, Lord Bloodman is a 
well he he he's great but he has his pride and sometimes it doesn't let him admit you know when he's missing something uh, and i'm there for oh, that that is, that is my but you see uh, lord, lord ashgrave has made a, a little adjustment to our <laughs> to our uh, catalog shots of the yield what did he do <laughs> Oh, come on, you can tell me. I won't tell you. We, we hold the treasure still. <laughs> All of it. You, you didn't? Oh my god, you... Oh, it's yeah. not me. No, it's not me, of course. No, it's Lord Ashgrave's decision, of course. But you know, it's not like they know how to use such wealth. Oh, by the way, do you, know how to open this, do you know how to open this gate here? Uh, and I'll point at the grate. Oh, don't, don't, don't go in there. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little trap we set up for those fools. There's, there's, there's been attacks against us? Oh, not yet. Not yet. Thankfully. Oh, we, those little <laughs> furry things, they think they get and get away, but we'll catch them. <laughs> oh, get a nice belt some, out of some of them. Yes. Uh, do we have any of them caught? I need some, need them for my experiments. Uh, well, not in one piece, but we still have some of the bones, if that can do for you. I did need to question some of the people from Cueva. Are there any left alive at all? Why would we? I know, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, no this... use alive. <laughs> I know, I know. We hold up hands. We do like uh... five, five fingers up. Yeah, no, I know the cattle, but I just had some information together. Either way, uh, you've been a tremendous help, uh, but I need you to do something for me. I need you to not blow my cover, okay? I I have been sent here by uh, Radman, but no one must know this. They, everybody inside must believe that I am with Ashgrave. If they do not, we will be in dire straits. There is a mole within our operation, in Ashgrave's operation. This is the message that Bloodmain told me about, but he trusted me to find out who it was. And I know it's not you because we've known each other. So I thought I could trust you with this. That's uh, not possible. Well, no one who does not serve the master would be able to enter our midst. None. And you see this odd thing. His eyes are almost super fixated on you. And you've noticed before that while people are under your influence, they seem more relaxed, but he tenses up. And you see an odd shake in his, his movement as his hand begins to lower down towards his weapon. Ashgrave sort of moves behind him and gives you a look. I ask, I'd look at Wave to, you know, close the distance. <laughs> Yo, do we just surround him? <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he's, he's shaking his head and he's looking at you with your odd listen, smile. Listen, listen. And just... listen. There, there cannot be. No one can betray the master. The master's power much. is absolute. No. We thought as much, but there is. None believe. Non believers. No believers cannot enter our miss. And he pulls his sword on you. Is he breaking the charm? He's breaking the charm. How? The master's charm is even greater. All right. That's a good way to put it. I think the moment he pulls his weapon, we just attack, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just we just jump him. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing as, Bane as is probably going weapon, to. <laughs> Bane, you, you, you need to step back a step as Bane's sword protrudes to the cultist's chest. 
and Veeve's Yo. club comes down on his shoulder, crumbling does, out with him to the ground. Does the blood just spray? Everywhere. And for all over Adrish, mostly. And Adrish, that is that is very <laughs> You haven't seen anyone really break your charm. Not without re- mm-hmm. you know, really attacking them or influencing them or doing something to them. Or just like a uh, dispel or something, but like yeah, we're dispelling it. But this guy didn't even seem like he broke the charm, but almost as if something else controlled him. Mm. Yeah, it was the master. As oh, if okay. your contradictive words to his beliefs were took over him. Well, that could have been useful. What the hell was that? Give me a minute. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to try to imitate <coughs> this guy's voice and call out. <laughs> okay. Hey, can you Hey, can you come here? We need to check this out and I'm going to hold another charm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but there's the... Oddly, you stand there. But you hear no noise <coughs> coming from behind the door. None mm. at all. Is it because the door is closed? The door was closed. He closed guess... it behind him when you called him over. I guess that didn't uh, give me all the answers I wish to get, but we know something now. Did we know that name before? Ashgrave? Lord Ashgrave, uh, give me a history check. So we have heard it. No. Absolutely not. Doesn't even ring a bell. That is... (laughs) Uh, Yeah, of course. Yeah, re- re-roll your history check. Oh my god, dude. No, absolutely not. You have no idea. <clears throat> Does, what about doesn't me? even sound it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to give you any more chances. <laughs> oh my god. Also, you have no knowledge of this region, really. Like, No, I mean, I meant more like, have we personally heard of it in the campaign? Oh, no, no, no. I, I'll, I'll tell you for free that no. Okay. Thank God. So we did get something new out of this. All right. And apparently they don't mix at all, so there will be no intersection. What were the three branches of these guys again? Um, there's like the people that summon undead. Which is the these people. guys. <coughs> and that 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 thing sounded like Ash Glade, and I was like worried for a second. Yeah, safe. <laughs> 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 what did I do? <laughs> now you are the leader of. I was like, oh, Drift, what kind of position did you take on? So, yeah, uh, the, the three branches of the army of the Master are the Chosen of the Master, the Lords of the Grave, and the Whisperers of the Far. Yeah, they summon like some un. like holy beings. Yep. But like the lo- the chosen was the the blood vein was a chosen. Yeah. So he leads the chosen, I guess. Uh and then Ashgrave leads the Lords of the Grey, right? It's Zoom. And then the Whisper of the Far, we don't know. We don't know their leader or we don't know their goals. But they said they have a treasure they're still holding. Alright, I guess. Back to that door, I guess. Bane, let's go. Let's see you get in front. All right. Let's take these fuckers down. But uh, let's check how many of there are first. <coughs> and uh, Bane's going to try to stealthily open the door. It creaks. <laughs> No, actually, no. We are all quite decent. Oh, are you guys sneaking as well? Yeah, sure. Of course. We're smart people. We sneak around. Yeah, give, give me those. Give me those stealth checks. Oh, 
What did Bane roll and did he save me? Oh wait, I don't need to be saved. I'm good. Oh nice. These are these are oh. decent rolls. Give me give me one for wave as well. Oh no, this is gonna go badly. Oh come on, wave, wave is sneak. Oh wave has better self than most of them. Yeah, but wave actually is quite good at stealth. I forget that he's not a you know a not heavy rolled. armor wearing. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, even okay. even thirteen is decent. Yes, overall probably good. So yeah, uh, you you see Bane stepping out of the corner and just step back immediately. He, he sort of beckons you, coming closer. I come closer. There, I will see one guy. He's sitting at a desk, just beside the wall. There might be more, but I don't see much any more from this angle, so he might be alone. Okay, I need to check something. Um, so I have used. I don't think he saw two, me. Two, okay. Okay, uh, switch. I I just say switch places with me. I'm gonna go look around the corner. Try to move. Down the hallway, you see a single cultist, dressed similarly than the guy that you just killed, eating at a table. He doesn't seem to even look up from for, for the guy who has, uh, look for the guy who was left. But you're not sure if you can approach him stealthily, as there's a, a lot of light in this room. Okay. I'm going to cast uh, Clairvoyance in the middle of the room <coughs> at, the, at the ceiling level. Uh, do you have to see for that? Nope. Oh, how's that? Create an immune sensor it, between range, location. You familiar to you. You know, I guess you know this shouldn't be an obvious location that is familiar, unfamiliar to yeah. you, such as behind a door or around a corner or in a grove. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna uh, put it like right here somewhere in the shadow. I, I don't okay. think I can do a quick sensor for you. So I'm just going to just un... put, put you there for a moment. <laughs> oh, that's an empty room. Okay, cool. So this is the only guy there, right? And I don't see anything else in the room at all. Uh... No. Uh, now, now you should have, you know, some inside. Yeah, so in the room you see two large empty tables. Uh, there's some leftover food on them. There's a roaring fire in a large fireplace and more crates that you can only imagine are uh, with belongings from the people from Kuervar. And from the point where you casted your clairvoyance, you only saw <coughs> this one guy. At the other end of this chamber, you've seen one locked door and a wider corridor to the right. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, I... Okay. Oh, that's fine. Uh... I just blast! <laughs> I could... I tried to whisper to Ben. I could try to chant. I could try to scam him again. That could work. Perhaps get some more answers before he locks up on me. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I don't, uh, you know. Go on. Are you going to just stand in that uh, at hallway, Adrisht? Uh, no, 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 I'm not standing. I'm going to move back. I just wanted to get a vis get vision for the clairvoyance yeah. as well. Yeah, idea.
I don't think we need to complicate it that much. I can just charm him again. I wonder it work. That was only when I tried to, you know. I think I think it mostly resisted me when you when it believed that I was going against the core ideals of the master. If I just <coughs> that's not a problem. I think we should be okay. There's another idea I have. I could I could just suggest to him that he go walk to Quailar. <laughs> to be honest, I think uh, Valpe's crossbow bolt would do the trick. I mean, yes, that would also work. Let's just sneak inside the room and fire a couple of spells and bolt at him, and that does the trick as well. I was just if... thinking if I could charm him, we could perhaps get some more answers. Uh, give me, give me a perception check, for the rest. Oh no, he's oh, sorry, not the person. Give me, give me the insight thing, said. Yeah, well, Drish is gonna su suggest they forgot some in Carvel. <coughs> well, I didn't know you were that good at insight. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Drish, something's odd about Bane. Oh, I need to go to the toilet. I'll be back in a sec. Sure, sure. In the sense that he. While he looked murderous before the mission, now he seems tense. An odd tenseness in his look. As if he won't just want to rush ahead for some reason. Ben, is everything okay? Um, let's take that guy out. Ben, wait a second. Let me try to talk to him, get some more answers. We can we can figure out what's going on. There's no time. If Ashgrave's here, there's no time we can waste. Won't let him get away again. We won't let him get away. There is no chance that that man walks out of here. I promise you that. But let us do this at our pace. <sighs> Fine. I'll walk around the corner, cast Charm Person. Uh, it's a range. Char charm Person is 30 feet. Six, 60 feet, I think, right? Nope. That's 30 feet. I just checked. All right. I'm not casting Jumperson. Uh, I guess, fuck it, let's just kill him. <laughs> hey, Bane, wait, I'll talk to him. Bam! <laughs> oh, I can say, I can say, oh, wait, can I try to, from here, from this point, I'm gonna, uh, with the door open, I'm, I'm gonna ask everyone to move back, and then I'm gonna, Call to him, uh, and I'm gonna can can I do a mockery of the or not mockery, but like a, a impression of the guy uh, who came out? Yeah, a mimicry of some sort. Do Do you know how he sounded? Uh, he sounded like you sounded. <laughs> no. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Give me Give me your best performance. Yeah, and I'll try to call him over. And, uh, I'm gonna ask Bane to step back one step as well. I'm gonna step back out of the door, and uh, I'll call to him and say, "Hey, come check this out. This is going pretty cool." <laughs> what? What's wrong with your voice? You sound nothing like yourself. I'll Give me that performance. Yes. Oh wait, not perception. Sorry, performance. I use that role. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to test your luck? No, I don't think this is worth it. At least as you go, like, hey, 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 there's something cool down there. He feels on, he's, he's sick, isn't it? I'm still holding a charm in case he comes around the corner. 
even if he is hostile, he already has advantage. How much more advantage can he get? <laughs> Who's going to jump around the corner and slash in the air there? And there's nothing there, and I cast jump. <laughs> this poor fucker. DC, DC 18? Yeah, you know, you're charming the right people, to be honest. This is not the most charming guys. Huh? <laughs> Wait, I need to burn another. Uh, point of the yeah. thing. Oh, uh, oh, oh, it's just you. Uh, yeah, it's just me. I, dude, dude, have you seen this trap in the other room? The one with the lightning? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> there, there were a couple of idiots. They got fried by it. <laughs> well, they deserve it, idiots. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Every, charm, every, boss everyone, everyone, everyone was brief that nobody opens the trap doors. Yeah, no. Thank God it wasn't one of us. It was some, I don't know, some weird guy. Probably just wandered in. Got past the skeleton somehow. Oh, that's that, that's why we set up the traps. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was uh, yeah. here to I'm... meet Ashgrave, Lord Ashgrave. Uh, where is he? Wait. Were you supposed to come in? Yes, we, didn't ex- we didn't expect anyone. Yeah, but he sent me like this magical message. Have you heard of those? Oh, yeah, of course. He sends me plenty all the time. Do you know how to send them? Uh, no. Oh, I do. But uh, yeah, so he sent me a magical message. He said he, said he needed my help. I was in the area, so I thought might as well help our old friend out. Oh, oh, I, I, I see. Yeah, we used to be friends growing up. <laughs> oh, with, with Lord Ashgrave? I'm a lot older than I look. Oh. It, it looks at your old ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well. Did you did you see did you see him? He, he he went here to check out something. Oh yeah, he just went past me. He he went to go like clear up the bodies. I need you to take me to Ashgrave though. Oh yeah, uh, he he said not to be bothered while while he was meeting the servant. He's meeting I... what, what servant? You didn't tell me about this. Oh. The servant, the servant, the servant is here. They oh. they they came to take the, the well, take the 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 portions from the po- from the bodies. Oh, for the okay, yeah, yeah. you know, he he did say something about that. He didn't tell me the name though exactly. Okay, they, they they were still going through the catalogs. Is it not to be bothered? Uh, we can wait. But, Come, let's uh, sit for a while. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, let's let's come have a drink. So yeah, he. He's, Dude, he's, did you? I look at him and I say, "Did did you see? Did you hear about the blood main attack on Silvery Moon? They've totally fucked it up." <laughs> oh no, they didn't. I mean, it could have gotten so much better, though. It would have been so much easier. <laughs> that bitch still lives, and that annoys me. Oh yeah, but it's all according to the master's plan. Yes, the master's will be done. By the way, you guys are come allowed to come into the room with me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is just my personal retinue of uh, gods. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that's my concubine. 
Yeah, they, yeah, they, hey, they, hey, they, hey, yo, Emma playing the concubine. That's <laughs> yeah, they, they, this is my other concubine. <laughs> no, 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 that's my that's my bodyguard. This is my squire. This is my squire. <laughs> this is my this is my oh, this is my cook. Also. No, no, this is my cook. This is my cook. <laughs> 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 eats people. Hey guys, say hello to. Uh, sorry, I forgot your name. It's been a long time. Uh, oh yeah, I, I, I am Torag, uh, Toran. 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 Pleasure to meet you again. Yeah. Yes. Let's let's have drinks. <laughs> there was quite yes. a bounty from Quervar. And he just sort of walks up to one of these crates and kicks it open. And did, you see, did these... you all bother with all this packing stuff away? Why? <laughs> well, uh, we might as well live like kings once the master rise, but why deprave us from the little pleasures of life until then? Are there any prisoners still alive? I wanted to, you know, partake myself a little bit. What use, prisoners? <laughs> the flesh bags. <laughs> How's Bane looking? Oh, he, 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 you know, he attempted to sit down beside you, but he, he, he needs to walk away to this bench. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, you know, you see him sort of just resting his uh, crossbow on his knee, aiming at the guy's face. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to talk to him and say, uh, so it's been a long time. We've been away for a while. Uh, how's everything going? Tell me everything. Come on. Uh, not much to tell. Oh, come on. The core of our operation was a bit rushed after, well, you could say the failed attempt on Silvery Moon. But <laughs> it not, was not much more failed. successful. Well, yeah. So what what did you do after that? After that, you bought them here, and you've just been guarding. Well, I know. Oh, haven't you heard? We're just about to leave. Oh, headed <coughs> well. Yeah, apparently there's some hostile movement in the forest that Lord Ashgrey if has, of course, foreseen. I think that's one of the reasons why he called me as well. He wanted me to suss out uh, if there was, you know, people with ill intent around these parts. Yeah. He sent uh, most of us off anyway. There's not much left here. The harvest was done. So, what we're next? I don't know. Let's guess where Lord Ashgrave decides. There are so many idiots walking around. Little villages to pluck from. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe we'll make an attempt again on Silvery Moon. <laughs> that will be a spectacle. Oh, I, I won against that right now. There's way too many... Way too many people there. With way too much magic. Oh. They've been amassing armies since we last went there. Oh, that just means more for the harvest, don't you see? The master's power is greater than their silly little magic. Oh, when the master returns in full, they will have no chance. But until then, we must be a little bit aware of our uh, limitations. Well, of, of course, of course, there's... No need to rush. But there's not much time left now. When was it? When, when, when were we planning to finish this off? God, my memory's gotten foggy in my old age. Uh, well, I got to say, I, I don't know the full details. I need to rise up in the Master's army to become oh, one of his true acolytes. But uh, I know I will. I know that the power he entrusts to me will just grow with every day. And with I'll every be... life taken. You know, when Ashcliff began his began this whole thing along with the other two, 
or joined. He asked me to be a part of it as well. And initially I thought, what are these idiots doing? This calling is not mine, but then he showed me the truth of it. And I've been rising pretty well since then. I could give you some pointers. Perhaps put your name in the right ears. Oh, you, you would? Oh, that would? That would be great. I always wanted to show my devotion. <laughs> Just crawls under the table. <laughs> <laughs> No, it it doesn't. Join the master. The master reverend. Please, the master. (laughs) Please, the (laughs) master. Alright, sorry. Uh, Why why did my mind just go there? Who knows? (laughs) Uh, No. Uh. Has there been any news from uh, the Whisper of the Fire? We're not supposed to be in contact. Yeah, but we generally get some news, right? Seeps uh, through. Yeah, well... What's the what's the latest uh, gossip? Come on. I'm a, I'm a whore for gossip. Uh, uh, well, there was... After the... After the attack on Waterdeep, I, we all went to the Sanctum. But... Uh, you know, they made me... You know when the attack on Robert Day happened, I was there and I got hit by this strange spell. And it just destroyed my memories to a certain degree. <laughs> they've been they've been they've been coming back slowly, but give give really... me a persuasion check. But, uh, let me finish. This give, me, give me a deception check. <laughs> I've been, I've been forgetting where the sanctum is. Even I can't even return home, even if I wanted to. Make my give deception me, check. Give me that deception check. Oh, like so this is this is not one of my better sets. <laughs> that is just me. that is just straight bullshit. There. <laughs> Ooh. What did he roll? An at twenty. Oh no. What do you mean you don't know where the sanctum is? The sa- no one, no one's supposed to know where the sanctum is. Yeah, but you know, when you get to a certain rank, they tell you stuff. No, no, the the sanctum is is the hidden. Only, only by the servants can you enter. No. Oh. Do you know? Do you know and... something? I'll tell you this in confidence. When Ashgrave asked me to join, you know why I said no initially? Uh, no. Why, why, why would you? Why would you ever it deny? Was, it was stupid of me, wasn't it? Pleasure of serving the yes. master. This, it was because I did not believe. But then he spoke to me. I am one of the chosen. Do you see this? And the eye widens. <laughs> it, is, it is one of his blessings. He, he used to tell me things. But recently I have lost my way. And I can't find my way back to him. And that hurts, you know? And I take a drink. Uh, Adrish, <laughs> when you say that you lost your way and you're trying to return, you see his face distort, angry, and he, he his arm reaches towards his scimitar, but then his head bangs forward with a crossbow bolt yep. at the back of his head. All right, I always take my welcome there, but again, something better than nothing. What the hell is with these people? Yeah, they're fucked up, aren't they? Uh, 
<laughs> you know, I would 100% assume Wave is eating and yep. <laughs> like right there. Yep. Yeah, well, if, I... it's, if it's not human meat, he's eating there. Well, at, at the very least, we kind of understand what can or can trigger them. Um, so for the future... It'll yeah, so no, no, uh, like thoughts of uh, betraying the master or leaving the master or moving away from the master, nothing like that. <sighs> what the hell is with these people murdering hundreds without remorse? And their what, what even is their goal? I think we found the goal, didn't we? Oh, they want to return him, they want to bring the master into this world, yeah. yeah but who? Who is their master? I feel like asking that question might, you know, trigger them. Well, maybe not directly asking them, but potentially talking about teachings of the master. Maybe that'll give us a clue. Yeah, something like that could work. Well, we'll see. Uh, more of these belongings. So many people, all robbed of their life, their livelihood, their everything. Oh, lovely. More doors. Oh, my God. Is that a double door? That is a double door. Mm -hmm. Which way, guys? Oh, maybe I should ask him which way. That would have probably been a better question than. Yeah, that might have been a good idea in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> you just shout this from the other side of the room. <laughs> hey, yo, which way are we going again? It's been a while. Master this way. <laughs> have you got your master detector on you? I, I seem to have misplaced mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so weird. You can just see this fucking. I'm just going to delete this. <laughs> I'm so zoomed in, I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. I, I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember. Where oh, it is. Don't worry about, about it. I, th I think we're still pretty far away from that kind of thing, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I won't move my map. Just. So. Yeah, I, I, I remove the lights so I can just. Reset the fog of war now. And it won't it's it's not the double doors, right? It's not. Is it just like the room upstairs with the double doors? Maybe. Sorry, what do you mean? Maybe just the room upstairs with the double doors. Is that the no? But I will see it then. Okay. Uh... All right, uh, Finn, come here. Let's go. Uh, Emma, check the doors. See if they're trapped. I'm gonna go through the crate, see if there's anything you know actually valuable. Okay. Uh, give me both. Will give me an investigation check. I doubt they would leave a healing potion behind, but you know, we might as well try. So, so yeah, uh, and you're rolling like shit today. Yeah, at least in in these crates, what you mostly find is. Either food items or like simple utensils, a c couple of drinks, but not anything that would worth pretty much money. Sort of like you know home brewed stuff mm -hmm. that would that would be in a simple town or simple village. Yeah. Not, not even not even you know anything with a label really. Mm. And Emma, the mm -hmm. door is is odd. It doesn't appear trapped in any way, but it's not really locked. There is a metal bolt that's sort of holding it in place. But you could probably <coughs> pry it out with not a lot of difficulty. But it's sort of locked from the outside. Probably holding something in rather than something out. Maybe we don't go that way. Or maybe there's some prisoners in there.
No. The the doors are almost perfectly set into their frames. Man, you know what would have been useful? Clear wines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that would be great to use. But there's a, there's a shiver in your shadow and more a sort of. You know, first her, first her, his front paws, like sort of plop out on the edge of your shadow, and then does like a shimmy and just push him his, himself out of your shadow, like climbing out of, of a shallow pool or hole. And he sort of shakes his fur, and Ben is just looking down at the cat climbing out of your shadow and then back at you. You know, he's a, he's a worldly man. He's seen all sorts of shit. You know, he went on two holy crusades. But, you know, fucking half an hour hour with these guys. Well, I can certainly try, but there are limits to bear I can go, Emma. There are places that I simply are not able to go to, barriers that stop me, but sure, I'll try. Well, that would make it simpler. Can you do it without them? Wait, he's, is she talking out loud or is she talking in the brain? No, she's talking to Mora. So all we hear is... <laughs> no, 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 Mora is just sort of sitting on, her, on his ass looking at Emma. With, you know, that odd, almost human-like grin on his face. Oh, okay, cool. Brain is just still confused and it's somewhat scared. <laughs> Wave walks up and crashes his hammer onto the bolt. <laughs> <laughs> it it can be pulled out, like it's it's not dead nope. bolt. So waves waves crashing his hammer. Sure. It doesn't have a hammer, though. But the adamantine model. <laughs> yeah. So... It is an advantage, right? Because it's against... No, it's just a critical hit automatically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know... Uh, uh... Vavis v- just smashes down on the metal ball and it just shoots out the other way. It would shoot, you know, like it, it was sort of just put in, like you know, like a pin. And you know, if you pushed it from under, it would just come out. But instead, Vavis just hits it from the other side and just shoots through the hole. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> the door can be opened and it opens inwards. Place, place, smashing it. Yeah. He opened a tiny crack. He he peeks through the crack and then jumps into your shadow. Mm-hmm. 
Could you leave him then? <laughs> what was the book? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as Wave opens the door, and then closes it, <laughs> the chamber appears completely empty, aside an odd green like sludge on the floor. It's something glimmering in its center. What is something glimmering in the center? Sorry. What's glimmering in the center? Something in the goop. Can we make out what it is? Well, no, because you, you, you slammed the door. You open it again. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's covered in this gunk, but in the, in the, uh, it's barely visible in the, in the torchlight of, of Wave. I can see, though. Yeah, it's not about, you know, visibility. It's more even just a delight that almost, you know, it penetrates through the green gunk and something is shimmering in it. It doesn't seem to be like a full pool. It's more like a um like a something covering the ground. You see There's the one. tiles under it almost. Hmm. Major. <coughs> I mean you can. It would help. Four lights in the four corners of the room. And then a mage hand near the shimmering just to clear out a little bit of the goop or whatever it is. And see if he can, can pick up the shimmer. Get the or something. Unless it's heavier than five pounds. Oh, no, it's a nuclear explosion to begin. <laughs> that, that's just a dancing light. I know. But it looks so cool. Look, it's dancing and it's a light. Yeah. Uh, uh, give me a moment. Let me just check something on the mage hand. Uh, da -da. So, Adrish, you summon your mage hand and send it forward, best wave. But it, when it reaches the end of this small corridor, almost entering the chamber, it almost stops as if hitting a flat surface. Can I summon the mage hand inside the place? Because I can summon it anywhere in third degree. You, you summon the mage hand in, in the center of the room. And it seems like oddly stuck in place. Like the hand is in, is it floating in the air in second place or is it floating in the gunk? No, it's, and... it's floating in the air. Hmm. What about the dancing lights? Can they move? <laughs> Fuck those at this point. <laughs> Dancing lights do move, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they have substance? No, the mage had is spectral, so it shouldn't be stopped. I guess the spec the mage head should be able to move. <laughs> Fuck it. This is this is this is this is what this is what happens. This is what happens Oh no. <laughs> it flails at you. It flails that you're trying to reach you, but it's too far away. It can only reach <laughs> as far as the door. <laughs> Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. <laughs> Mage, Mage hand wiggles around inside it a little bit. <laughs> just, tickle, just tickling. It's tickling inside it. I just made this, this for you guys. I know you guys wouldn't go in there, but I just wanted the, <laughs> the cube that's stuck in a room. It can only wiggle at you. 
I, I like that you gave it, you know, I gave, you gave it like 10 feet of distance. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, that's the that's, 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 that's reasonable thing. <laughs> yeah. oh, you you know what would be pretty funny though? Can I just open the door again? Is it still wiggling? Yeah, it's absolutely just wiggling. Is it able to move at all? No, it's, it's not able to move through. I'm just gonna start firing at this blast in there. Oh, <laughs> this <the> monster! <laughs> hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. There's something shimmering in there, I wanna see what it is. <laughs> what is it, Hig? It's fine, just, just give me like 60 seconds. What is it, Hig? <laughs> I'll unload, I'll unload her. <laughs> Fuck it. Just 20 Eldritch Blasts into it. <laughs> just 20. <laughs> You know, people just move move away. Like, you know, at this point, it's like this. This is just you know, this is just torture. <laughs> this is sad. I'm just putting it out of its misery. Look at it, stuck in that room. It doesn't want to be there. So yes, uh, after you know mere moments and the the maniacal look on Adrish's face, <laughs> uh, at some point he just starts cackling. It seems that. As the, as the creature is diminished into nothing and begin to flow out into the chamber. Oh no. <laughs> Just flooding your shoes. Was there, was there something? <laughs> sure. Yeah, it doesn't even get to be d- dirt anymore. It doesn't even get to be. Oh no. What about and, the, the and, and you, you walk into the chamber, sort of shaking the gunk out of your shoes, and you see that in the center, under the gunk, there are human remains. Oh, that was a shimmer? In, uh, the bones seem to be in some sort of bag, but on a closer inspection, it's very clear that this must have been a cultist before. Oh no! It, it was a cultist. Yes. And, and then they put him in a room. <laughs> and, they... and in 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 his skeletal hand, which is very well preserved and pristinely ke- clean, is a spoon. Did he try to eat the jelly? <laughs> this man tried to eat the gelatin spoon. <laughs> <laughs> the door slams behind you. The crew is back. It eats you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Let's Fire move on, guys. Okay. <laughs> in the, in the... <laughs> the tiny room. Kill myself. Kill <laughs> the cube. All right. Is it one door or is it two doors? It, it, it's a double door. It's one door. Yeah. It's Dumb- Dumbledore. Oh, no. <coughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. Yeah, give, give, give me that. Give me that. Give me that good investigation. Oh, so you like losing at things, huh? <laughs> so, uh, Emma, the door, the and door. The house come is such a scam. Sorry. <laughs> the, the door appears completely trapless. It's quite big. It's it's a floor to ceiling door, and this corridor is is uh, somewhat taller than the rest of the chambers that you've entered. Uh, the ceiling is near twelve feet here. It's a domed ceiling, but it is locked. They they, they 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 push on the door and the locking <laughs> mechanism and f- holds quietly. firmly <clears throat> as quietly as possible. Oh, has Emma got this now? Yes, so unlock it. Of course, of course, you can. And if you lock everything, wait, are there any keys on these guards? <laughs> <laughs> the important questions. <laughs> Yo. No one's fucking looting corpses here, I guess. So, are there any keys on these guards? Don't loot corpses, man. 
<laughs> so, uh, Adrisht, uh, give, give me an investigation check. We're trying to make Emma do everything. <laughs> so, while, while Adrisht, you know, uh, Adrisht, you know, rummages around. Comes, the, comes back the with the master key, no, nothing. Yeah, no, this guy's key got shot with a crossbow bolt. Or, you know, maybe it was, you know, someone else's pocket. Can I go check the other guy as well in the other room? Sure, I'll give you another chance. In the meanwhile, I'm going to open these doors. Yep. My god, man. <coughs> this man had 20 today. Right. No, there is no key on these guys. I figured. You know, there's you know, there's no wonder these guys were left out here. <laughs> no, this is... The fucking scrubs they are. Yeah, they. <coughs> yeah, who gets chowed by a random hobo? Can you imagine? But anyway, uh, Wave and Bane moves up, and very I carefully, guess, they open the doors. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. I do not, I do not like Yeah, uh... Yeah. G- give, give me, uh, are you guys moving stealthily then? Oh, cool. Oh, good job, Bane. The stealth man. I mean, if he can't roll initiative, he can roll for stealth. Yeah. And that was a 22 stealth from him. <laughs> yeah. be, be, being carefully inches. Oh! <laughs> You're going not net 20, 20 stealth from the halfling. One second, sorry. Nice. Yeah, this, we love uh, to see it. Two. Well, four. <laughs> and the wave is. Uh... Come on, wave. Do you make that What's it? I don't have expertise to come on. But yeah, no. What? 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 Wait, did, did I mark did... expertise on I, I think I think you marked him expertise. Yeah. Right. Don't do that. That's fair. I think I clicked on the left button. Yeah. So B- B- Bane sort of inches from it, sort of crouches down in front of the statues, looking at them with suspicion, and then crouches to the other side of the chamber. I think this one's locked as well. Wait, 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 wait. before we open anything, just, I don't like these statues. Can you check around and see if there's anything? They come to life and beat the shit out of us. It'll be sad. The two statues are of large humanoids. They are seeming to be varying. Uh, they will be carved into armored figures, but once again, they are horribly defaced and destroyed. One of them is missing its head, the other is an arm. They, they are in, in generally bad shape. Give me an investigation check, Emma. To to your best knowledge, these are just statues. You don't see any separation from their bases. They seem to be carved of stone. The similar stone that the entire building is made out of, with very little details. But maybe it's just the time that has passed since this place was used, that these statues must have been quite great before that. <laughs> give me that, give me investigation. The, <clears throat> the door is definitely not trapped. It is locked. Without a shadow of a doubt, this this door is not trapped. 
Nope. Oh my god. You know, but I didn't say anything about the floor not being trapped. <laughs> nah. <laughs> turns out it wasn't actually locked. <laughs> It turns out, turns out the lockpick is a key. No, the, 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 you know, the, these statues are like, you know, big sensors and it's an automated door. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you walk between the statues, the door just opens. <laughs> so yeah, the, 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 there's a door ahead of you and you need to open it. Emma's time to shine. Or, you know, get lit up. Please <laughs> close the door immediately after opening. You open the door. Ahead of you, you see a large, tall chamber. The ceiling is near 20 feet up. These four large pillars hold up the ceiling. To your left, there is another humanoid statue, tall. Quite, quite, uh, quite, uh, quite uh, delicately carved, some sort of women, uh, figure of a woman, but just like any other statue in this chain. Connie, are you okay? Oh, I was humming, sorry. <laughs> sorry, just <laughs> uh, But it, it is also as decrepit <coughs> as other statues, broken down, defaced. To the left, behind the statue, you see a staircase leading up. Hey, is there give, anything here? Give, give me, give me a perception check. Saucy, not suspicious. Suspicious. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, is there anything sh 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 on on the season? Must be a last season. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, the chamber is not illuminated at all. It's only in your to your superior <laughs> or, or your great dark vision that allows you to see into the chamber. Well, as perhaps. The torch that Bane is carrying. Or a torch lantern. Give Bane the lantern? Ba Bane has a lantern. Uh, Bane also has a lantern. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bane has a magic lamp on his hip. Yeah. Bane has a normal lamp <laughs> on his belt. Okay. Where is this place? Oh, look, a room. I don't want to step between those four columns. Let's just go to the left. <laughs> to the left, to the left. <coughs> so, yeah. <sighs> In this chamber, you see three exits. One seems to be a simple uh, metal bar door at the northern side of the room. On the right, you see an enormous, almost 15 feet tall, ornate door closed. To your left, behind the statue, you see a staircase leading upwards. A short staircase. You sort of see up on it, at least to sort of an elevated spot. <coughs> Center. What? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, but the chamber in the horse room was uh, on the north side. <coughs> oh, sorry, the door on the north uh, horse room inside the cell was on the north side. And none of these doors are south side. Oh, 
Oh, so eventually. Okay. I think we just pick a direction and go. I kind of want to see how the staircase goes. Does any of the doors look more ornate than the others? Sorry? Which door looks the most, you know, unique? Oh, the, the like the fifteen feet for uh, feet uh, tall, ornately carved, beautiful door to the right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No. Or or the simple metal gate that I, I think actually should be transparent. Okay. You should like you should be able to see through that. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> if I, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. What about the gate at the top of the staircase? Can we see that one? What gate? Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that that's, uh, is a simple metal door that you've seen almost at every house. I guess we take the double door, but I don't want to step into these columns. Yeah, the, th those are floor to ceiling pillars that seem to hold up the domed ceiling. Some kind of problem. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, but then that. No, but there's also a. There's also a door there, and if we go close to it, if something is inside, they see us, and the door there, so we we'll get through it, and warn everyone, and then we all die. <coughs> um. I, I don't think we can worry about it too much. We just kind of have to go. We can check out the staircase first. I mean, that's probably where we're going, right? The the double door? That's probably the main hall or something? Well, why why don't we look up the staircase and then approach and go to that far wall and then approach the, the gates from there? See if we hear any noise or see anyone. And if not, we can just go through and then get to the doors. Yeah, because I feel like I feel like when we open those double doors, there's gonna be fifteen enemies on the other side. <clears throat> I, I said, I'll <coughs> really take the lead. Go for it. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh, there's a portal. Oh, it's a sh blocking shield or something? I don't know. Oh, there's a sarcophagus in here. So, yeah, that's reached. Uh, as you walk up the staircase beside Bane, on the left you see two, once again, closed sarcophagi. On the right there <coughs> is a single door, and at the end of the chamber the wall has been broken down. Behind it you see a cavern with odd crystals growing from its wall, and some sort of magical barrier blocking the cave's entrance. It's a shimmering, almost shield-like, uh, feel like a wall that seems to be uh, like it, it's flat on your side, but seems to be bulging towards the dun the cave. All right, here I go again. I'm gonna burn another five sorcery points. How many do you have? I'm out now. I have one left, I think. Oh, okay. I got some back from my second level spells. B B sort course. of prods it with a sword. The sword goes through the barrier. He pulls back. Nothing appears to have changed on the sword. I'm going to summon you... the mage hand on the other side of the barrier. Yeah. This is the... Mage hand appears on the other side. I'm gonna tell the mage hand to come back. Does the mage have have stats? 
I don't think so. Yeah, it, it just says it can only carry 10 pounds. The 10, I thought it was 5. Yeah. So, uh, you see the mage hand move towards the barrier, but once again, like the the, the jelly wall, it just stops. You know what does have... Oh, it stops, so it can't go through. Yeah. It's a one-way wall from that side. If we go there, we don't come back. All right, I know who can go and never come back, and I can summon them again. Let's hope. <laughs> so, hope's going to fly through. <coughs> oh, I thought you were going to use the imp. The imp is already dead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the imp has been dead for fucking <laughs> days. No, no. Yeah. The imp was killed in the, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the incident. Fire yeah. No, it was, it was the, it was the dragon breath. Oh, yeah. I'm sending the bird through. So, who, who flies through the barrier? It's gonna stick close to the ceiling, gonna make as less sound as possible, and just start scouting around. I guess we control it completely. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna call out and like describe everything Hope is seeing. So, uh, as Hope flies into the cave, you see more of these odd crystal formations in a large, clear pond in the water. I don't know, sorry, in a lot of lush clear water. <coughs> Is it doing a lab? Just... Yeah. At the other side, you do see another barrier, but from this side, it is not see through. The same is true from um... the other barrier, the one we came from. And uh, there's a pond there. Yep. I was going to attempt to fly through the barrier. Which one? Yes. Right. Let's go bonk. <laughs> the bird on a windshield. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, actually, <laughs> it's electrified. Hope pushes against the barrier, and with great effort, Ooh. he manages. Oh, that's not the right wall. <coughs> I wanted the uh, this wall. She manages to push through. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's the room. Oh, that's the room. Oh, that's the room, all right. Uh, just, are we not going through those double doors anymore? Give us pause, Nick. I know. <clears throat> The Skeller boys reacting to Hope entering is going to shoot Hope with short bows. But like before the Hope dies, what do, what do we see? What do I see? I'm not even sure they can shoot, they can kill Hope. To be honest, do they not have enough vim? No, oh, Hope, Hope is Hope is you know pretty chunky. Oh no, actually, Hope has no HP, dude. Oh, who has 15 HP? She she has more HP than the skeletons do. <laughs> yeah, but she but, can't really attack or anything. Uh, the, the thing is, I, I did roll a crit, so... Yeah, but yeah, yes. I'm going to describe <laughs> the room for you before Hope is shot down. Oh, no. Inside a large L-shaped chamber. On the left, there's a, an a 10 feet tall statue of another female figure in a praying, a standing praying position. 
large pillars hold up the ceiling. In the center, another odd, unholy ritual with a burning red candle at its center. Oh, again? To the right, an enormous pile of bones. The flesh sacrifice complete. Nearly reaching the ceiling. And, And with two arrows shot out, hope falls out of the sky and disappears into ash. I hope. Well, I guess that's where we're going, but I didn't see anyone else there, right? Just the two skeletons. No people. Yep. Well, I would guess that created door would lead towards that side. Perhaps we could go check it out. We could also check out this sarcophagi. They're just right here. Sure, I'm sure nothing bad can happen when opening uh, sarcophagi. Wait, also, did we? Yeah. Uh, Maybe don't go through these barriers. They're apparently harder to get out of than get in. Interesting. Stay away from the barriers. What did it feel like when hope to go through it? Sorry? What did it feel like when hope to go through the barriers from the other side? It was difficult. You you needed to use a lot of strength. What do you mean? Okay. Is this a physical barrier? Seemingly. (sighs) All right. Here is some pause, by the way. Oh, sorry. You want to take these sarcophagi, or do we just leave them here? <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's sure. why you want to check the sarcophagi. <laughs> no, no, you're not curious or anything like that. Excuse me, as an excuse, I might find. Or yeah. not. Yeah, I'm on the. The two sarcophagi, just like the other in the room, seem undisturbed. Where the big bone, the, the scary bony guy was. Disturbed them. <laughs> and if the cult is not even crazy enough to touch these, I think we leave them alone. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna inspect them for traps. All right. All right. Uh, both of you, give me an investigation check. You don't have time, like that, do you? Nope. <laughs> Emma, you inspect the door closely, running your fingers along the edges, checking the clo- the locking mechanism. Something doesn't feel right. Feels right here. Something is definitely <coughs> not okay with this door. You are fairly certain that this door holds more than what it shows. But also, by the look of it, it hasn't been opened in a long while. <laughs> Just go open it. You know you want to. <laughs> well, why do you have Ave to? Maybe Ave doesn't know how to use lockpicks. Yeah. <laughs> Take the lock, come out. <laughs> <coughs> but it's not trapped, right? It's... It is! And that's it's a dog. 
I literally told him, oh, there's something wrong with this door. There is something more than it. <laughs> I, you know, I don't, didn't want to say, yes, this door is trapped. <laughs> it's trapped. You can so say how about, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? I'm going to summon the meat hand, place it in the, like, in front of the door, and then all of us are going to filter into this room. The door is still locked. <laughs> oh, it's not even. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but that was the interesting one. <laughs> Wait, this is coming from Emma, right? <laughs> alright, alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, fuck it. Uh, Ari, I, I never thought door traps will be this effective. I guess we don't really have a... like a rogue. <laughs> Yes, you, you do not. But the, the thing is, like, like yeah, I told man. you guys that door is trapped. You've seen trap doors all over this dungeon, and you still want to <laughs> open it. No, I want to. I want to open it with a mage hand. After, I, I don't know what the. So the thing is, like, we didn't really get any information about what kind of trap it was. You know, like, will it trigger on? Yeah, if it triggers, if it triggers on like opening the door, or if it triggers on taking the lock, or if it has like a, if there even is a way to disarm it from this side. Yeah, yeah, we don't actually know, know how it works. You just, yeah, because you have no knowledge of this, really. Emma barely knows how to pick locks. Yep. But yes, that's why I'm saying we don't have a room. <laughs> why are you back there? You know, but the thing is, like, I, I would allow Emma <coughs> to disarm this lock that seems to be attached either to the door or the, you know, the lock itself. You know, like, it's, it's entirely possible to use lock picking tools for this kind of work. She's annoying. Uh, practice oh my god, we, got, we fucking died today. Wait, no, wait, why? why? Why are we opening this door? We don't need to. Oh yeah, Emma, would you give me that lock picking check? Oh. Disarm the door lock uh, and the trap. Yeah. Emma, <laughs> you finick around a bit, you, you feel for the pressure plates and the little pins that hold a door lock, and you manage to open the lock without triggering the trap. Now you want to move away so I can open the... Yep. Yeah, Bebe is going to move away as well, because he's not a fool. And the uh, mage hand is going to turn the... Is it a knob? I don't know how it is. Sure. Whatever the mechanism is, I'll open the door with the mage hand. Ah, oh, fool me one, shame on you. Is it open? Behind the door is a solid stone wall. Oh, the same shit? Okay. Oh, maybe something different. Well, okay. it's not it's not treasure hig beyond our wildest imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, guys! You avoided one trap. Damn it! This was a fun one, though. This guy would have attacked you. Oh, the sleepy boy. Oh yeah. Okay. This guy. I guess let's check out the. Oh. Guy. No, Wait, he... what? He, he also didn't pick off a guy. I just kept him there. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're starting to proceed along the other wall, right? Yep. Away from the four columns in the middle, which collapsed any time crashing us to our death. I need four columns every day. Congol okay, you know, that's good notes. I, I, I know when that, you know, now I need to just make random four columns everywhere, and that is going to be on edge forever. I mean, I can't blame him. Walking between four columns is inviting a death trap. That shit, that shit like, is going to collapse and the whole thing is going to collapse on no. Yo, then Higg will t talk about like, alright, yeah, roll 20d10 worth of damage. So what is this place? Is this door <clears throat> locked? See? As, as you walk up to... Are, are you walking up to it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Between the columns? <laughs> no. <laughs> Guards? <laughs> okay, that's cool. We're still not walking between the columns. So yeah, uh, the door is enormous, reaching 15 feet into uh, in, near, uh, near the top of the ceiling. The entirety is covered in intricate carvings of stone, decorated with these pa painted uh, symbols that you can't quite rec recognize. They're not really letters or anything, they are just decorative patterns. In the center of the door, there seemed to be a circular seal, or some sort of a central piece. It, it is circle of stone with a central line, parting it in two where the two half doors meet. The center of it is an indentation. An indentation of a symbol. 
a symbol of the, the master? No, not at all. It seems just an odd jumble of swirls. Give me, give me a history check. From who? Uh, well, you were asking, Gunny, so give me. Okay. A history Is it like a magical lock of something? Give me, a, give me that history. Histoire. Three story. From T, so that I will know. No. Then, as as you inspect this indentation closely, you see that something would fit into this indentation almost perfectly, roughly two centimeters deep. It's very a uh, very intricate shape, and you recall that this symbol looks very very similar to those letterings that were on the cube. Oh, really? Ah, <gasps> uh, okay. As in the ancient Elvish letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, match the cube against it. Does it? Does it look? <laughs> I, I'm gonna take the cube out and put it into the doors. The, the, there's no like, the, it's not that big. Like the no. the, the symbol is like a, a small, like let's say three five three three to five centimeter wide symbol in this small stone plate in the center of this enormous door. Hmm. You know, what I was just referring that it is the same style as the ancient elven letterings on the on the cube. Okay. Uh, guys, I feel like the symbols look familiar, and they're not gonna pull out the cube. Stop! Oh, we need to stop messing around. Did you say that you've seen the ritual up there? <coughs> yeah, we need to get around to it, but uh, maybe worth it to see what's in this room. This symbol is one of the rather strange items that the here has. Wait, does it look like it's, sh- it's shiftable? What shiftable? The lettering. No, it's like it's a single symbol. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe like, is is this slot in the middle? Like, sort of like a pendant or a coin or something? Yes, mm-hmm. it's more like like a very very intricate keyhole. Oh, uh, so can I have a lock picker? Give me, give me, give me an investigation check, come on. Do it, do it, do it in the room with the four columns, though. <laughs> Emma, as you look closely, you sort of kneel down in front of this hole and, and peer into it. You don't see any mechanisms inside. This is literally just a two centimeter deep indentation. Uh, well, how am I supposed to open the door? <laughs> okay, I try and push and pull the door. <laughs> there, there are no handles on the door for pulling. It's quite. Is it just bars? bars? Sorry. Is it just bars? Oh, I, I thought you were trying to open the big door. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, which door are we talking about right now? Well, door. we're talking about the big door now. But we were talking about this door, yeah. Oh. Uh... Sorry, I copl- everything I said was about the big door. <laughs> <coughs> I thought what that was about the big door. That is literally just a metal bar door with like a little lock on the side. Yeah, can I push the big door? Can we can we do the small door first? <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a just give give me a little picking check. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> the, the door is just open. Like it's it's not like you know, it's like a small lock. Like it's easy easiest lock in your life. You twist the lock and it breaks. It's like one of those airport like you know like the fucking like luggage locks. Oh. What's in the room? More crates. I opened some of the crates. Piled up near to the ceiling. It's a mixture of all sorts of objects. I mean, really don't have to take my ticket out into it. <laughs> you see, again, clothes. <coughs> not many, not really any valuables, though. All, okay. all mundane items that, yes, could be useful for some, but in general, 
just the belongings of people. That they would right, nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that, Hick. All right. It looks like be the key, right? Yes. <laughs> <That's> Bane. <laughs> I wanted you to be the dude. <laughs> no, but Bane is just stepping his, his foot beside him, fucking staircase, looking at you. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Wasting his time. If you if you want to go in the barrier and get trapped in that giant chamber with another barrier on the other side, then go ahead and Bane. I will stop you. Assholes shoot at birds. Yeah, Actually, birds is pretty as well. Assholes that shoot at everything that enters the chamber. What are that boss open? <laughs> yeah, would they even would they do ash like that? Well, you know, maybe that anything that comes through that barrier. Mm. Mm. Alright. Okay. Waves gonna try to push the door open. Sure. And Bane's going to help him. Step between a pillar and a hot door. And a hot plus. Yeah. Uh, give, give me an athletics check from Wave. He's still raging, right? Yep. Nothing stops his rage unless he <laughs> fucking dies. A perpetual rage. Wait, does that stop it then? No, 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 no. You know, not if he goes down. But, okay, you know, dying. if he's fucking dead, like, that, that's gonna stop it. Sure. So, yeah, Wave and Bane push their entire weight against the door. You know, Wave's claws was dig into the stone, and Bane just put his shoulder against it, trying to push with all his might, the door not even budging slightly. Oh, yeah. Are you sure this is the way? <coughs> Where is he the light or through the... Clearly has a lock in place, I mean, I still cannot get lock or something, I don't really have anything to do that, do we? Do you think if I experiment with the spell on the lock, right? Work? I mean, do we even know if there is a spell on the lock? I don't know. Alright, I will try. I'm gonna try to dispel the effect, like the magical effect that's giving us out from the door. Mm -hmm. Don't not any of you have detect magic, by the way? Nope. nope. Uh, detect magic got retired in a library with this uh, strange elven waifu. Yeah, detect magic is on a solid move. Maybe one of you should pick it up. Yeah, sure. Nice. When I level up, keep the level up and do it. <laughs> uh, although this door does not appear very magical. Oh, it's not magical at all? Well, you know, you don't see any like arcane symbols or anything. But there is a magical effect on it, right? Like if I cast the Dirty Magic, it would dispel magic on it. Even if I didn't know if the effect was there. Do I need to know if the effect is there to cast it? Uh, choose one feature of the door. Magical effect. For each of the photo, how the time is already checked with the dust. Check with the ends. Yeah. So I cast it on an object. Yeah. And I'll use my last third level slot to. It's not going to do anything, but I'm going to do it because we don't, I don't want to go through that fucking barrier. How does it say? But Trish, you once again pull your magical energies in your hand from your eye and shoot it towards this giant door. And the door stands. You don't hear. Know. Give me an athletics check. He was going to push through and fail miserably and cry. It yep. Guessing that doesn't do it. Unfortunately, no. <clears throat> uh, guys, I guess it is the barrier. Yeah. Oh, between the pillars, I see. Huh? Who, said, who, who, said, who said between the pillars? <laughs> Adris just ran through. He's not feeling. Yeah. Oh, this is the poorly. B Bane sort of turns back. I guess coming. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's. We we should avoid that water. Nothing good underground comes from waters. 
but I heard that every time you find fresh water on the ground, there's always some sort of horror <coughs> lurking nearby. Stay oh. away from it. And he sort of steps through the barrier. Let us approach as carefully as we can. Yo, can they actually not come out? And uh, he, he almost crouches down into a stealthy crouch. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Copy. What? Oh, okay, so I have a little bit late. See? Bean. At the front, sort of beckons you to come this way. Come, come hither. Don't use your stealth. Need you. Oh, my bad, yep. my bad. Is it pretty five? Oh man, I thought I was mute. <laughs> <laughs> Give me two seconds. No, it's like all decent stealths. Except for me, of course. Woo! There it is. Woo! There's the off, you know, off sex for wave. <laughs> <laughs> And to be honest, like that, that perception check is just embarrassing. There was something in here to perceive us? Mm. Kind of want to stay and find out what the bones are, but whatever. As you, as you approach this wall, there's nothing to see beyond it. The barrier. Right, okay. go through. If you evaporate into a mist, I'll try to pick up another way out. Best of luck. See, B Bane walks up to the barrier, and he pushes a shoulder against it. <coughs> to sort of push through this physical barrier. You see that the barrier wobbles under his push, but he managed to push through. All right, uh, Wave, uh, I guess you go next. Give us pause, by the way. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, give me an athletics check, please, before entering. No, no, like I said, before entering. I okay, did like... fine. Athletics. And maybe it's going to be fine. I'm guessing he's okay. Still okay. So don't wander around, please. Can you move away all the way there? I was, doing... yeah. I was just going to get there, see how many of you get there, uh, get through. And then right. I'm going to describe what's happening there. So yeah, just give, right. give, give, give me... Oh, I'll try to get through. Yeah, athletics check. Anyone who tried to push through the barrier, I need athletics check. Sorry from all of us. Sorry, no. Oh, damn it, I rolled an 18 on the fucking acrobatics check. I need yeah. athletics. Okay, roll one. <laughs> Yo, can he not just, can he not just use, use his uh, athletics score? I'll try again in a few seconds. Yeah, uh, Gony, I need an athletics check for you as well. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's, it's, good to be, it's good to be a halfling. So yeah, uh, with Vave and Finn on the other side, uh, Adrish and Emma, you struggle against the barrier, but you're not able to push through. Finn, Wave, as you enter through, you notice that Bane is in the midst of slaying these two skeletons. Uh, can we provide backup? Uh, please just stay for a moment. Oh, sorry. With two mighty swings. The skeletons become dispatched <laughs> into on life or ah. possibly the afterlife. But at the same time, the door swings open at the back of the chamber and two figures glide out. Some dudes. Emma, you want to try again? 
Not yet. Batman keep two skeletons and we can't try again. Sure, try again, Adrift. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have to sort of line up, only one can push through at once. That is enough to push through Adrift. Okay, what, what, what did they need? I, I was going to live on the other side of that door. <laughs> that is also enough to push through. Thank God. It wasn't that high, but you see. <laughs> But yeah, okay. for the moment, as the two skeletons fall and you two manage to push through the barrier, on the other <sighs> side of the chamber, you see two figures standing, facing down Bane. That's my name. I'm guessing this dude is uh, Ashgrave. Damn, we already need an Ashgrave. Uh, this dude is little death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Death has come for me. Finally, but it won't take me the shadow will. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, as you stand there for a moment for facing these figures, Oh, I need to go to the toilet. It says that out loud. Bane. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Shit. Yo, guys, can we just, like, hold on one second? I just need to. Like, I've got the barrier. Sure. Do go what for, I need to do. Come back. Oh, bro. Oh, man. Alright. Alright, one second, one second, one second. <laughs> oh, that's, that's how you fucking kill the tension, I guess. <laughs> We are so dead. So completely dead. Completely murdered attention. We are so fucking dead. Why would you be so dead? I don't think I have anything left. Emma does. Did you hear? You have a fourth level spell slot still. Ooh, rough. Yeah. The ceiling is not too high here either. It's like 10 feet. He's talking, he's saying don't become T Rex. You can become something smaller. Nothing, nothing like a T-Rex, though. How much is a... Let's see, is a gorilla? <laughs> gorilla? I, I think that's, like, very little. Yo, you guys know what I was saying. Wait, that was Finn talking to the bad guys. <laughs> you guys are just gonna take a shit. Hey, there, yeah, can we, like, give this, a, like, five, ten minutes? Just, I got some business to take care of. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so, as, as ah. you stand there from the two skeleton falls to Bane's feet, he points a blaze towards the skeletal man and shouts at him. You will die today, monster, for what you've done. And the skeletal man just looks at him with this odd red glimmer in his eye sockets. You have to just stare back hey, with purple eyes. Buddy, Bane, relax. We're just here to talk, aren't we? And he points a finger. Oh no. Just, and just says, Well, I have no time for you, weak mortals. The master has called for my attendance. Now, die. Don't let me <laughs> do my part. <laughs> He's not, he's not casting a spell. I thought he just powered power kill this guy, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Harley, you're level 9! I don't know, the way you said it, it sounded very weird. It was just like, oh man, I'm just saying that. But no, uh, because as he points, Bane becomes rushing towards him at full speed. Okay. But before he could reach, 
a nearby pa- a bone pile animates. Suddenly, okay. in, front of, in front of Bane, a wall of skeleton erupts. He's unable to slow down, and you see that the vo- this side of the wall is filled with sharp bone spikes. Bane skids on the floor, but in his full flight, he full on slams into the skeletal wall. In is that pain. A spell uh, no, he's controlling already animated that. Alright. <clears throat> you could try to dispel this, but... Uh, no, no, no. It's already out. Out as a reaction, yeah. yeah. Bane fully ca- uh, slams into the wall, and you hear him grunt and, and cry out in pain as the skeletal spikes bury into them, uh, him. Ashgrave steps out from behind the wall and peeks. Ah, still alive, I see. Well, then I leave you to him. And disappears behind his door. Oh, he, this guy's definitely teleported somewhere. No, he, he walked through that door. Yeah, but I'm saying like there's going to be like a teleportation. And as he speaks, there's a disturbance in the room. <clears throat> The servant floats past Bane, but he's not attacking or anything. He raises one clawed hand and traces into the air a circle. Around his finger, the air crackles with energy, as if the very fabric of space was ripped apart, <coughs> hey, yo. forming a circular portal. <coughs> And the creature straps through the portal, disappearing as well. Is that a spell cast? Maybe. But I mean, if it's a spell, you're tell me. It is not a spell. All right. You know, I, I would love to waste your spell slots on on counter spelling it, but it is not a spell, unfortunately. All right. But as being is still struggling on the bone wall, trying to push himself off the spikes. The huge bone pile begin to rise. <laughs> as well as this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll initiative, guys. Oh, <clears throat> Uh, waiting for the initiative counter to come up. It's up. Ah, oh, okay. I don't think Bane can roll high initiative. Yeah. Yo, can you, can you like, bet his luck on rolling initiative? <laughs> I'm not against Finn. Oh, wow. This is a lot of, like, responsibility. So what's it gonna be, Finn? Uh... Finn why, goes... Why is it a fucking wave? <laughs> this is a, a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh... Do I attack? Uh... <coughs> Come on, Finn. No, you know what? I'm going for the mage. What mage? The one that's got like a, a hat. That's the, that's the acid. That's the, that's the acid throwing monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. The acid one. Alright. I'll move to here because I don't like being that close to the final points. Anyway, I'm going to attack the acid one. Alright. Nice. Then it is a hit. Cool. Oh, nice. Damn. Um... I'm assuming 23 hits. Yes, 23 hits. Cool. Uh, that's my turn. 
Well, this guy does not have resistance to slashing damage, so four slashes. Oh, nice. Yeah. This guy is going to swirl forward as the bone swarm. It's going to move forward. And not... It... No, it's not hit. It doesn't need to do that. you in its warm fin. It doesn't need to do that. Oh my, oh my fuck. <laughs> you feel the bones trying to embrace you in, in, inside the swarm, grappling you by all your limbs, piercing you. Okay. But you managed to dodge out of the way. <laughs> Wait, really? Lucky. <laughs> it's wave's turn. Mm, 5, 10, 15. 25, 30, 40. And he's gonna go nuts. And just start swinging with, let's say, the Coral Weight Club. It's a. Oh, wait, he's reckless. I forgot. Oh, wait, it's like reckless. Yep. All his attacks are reckless. Is there a plus zero on the Coral Weight Club? Okay. Give me a moment. <sighs> Fucking fix that. I thought I fixed all of his weapons, but not all of them. Uh, now, D8 weapon, I did not even know that. No, they shouldn't be. It is, okay. So one D8 plus zero. Oh, well, this, this one is a D8 for some reason. This is not a real great club. Oh, okay. Because this is a D12 on other great clubs. I guess it's a smaller great club because it's made out of coral. Okay. But yeah. I go back to the obsidian one. Start swinging with that instead. That is very covered in shit. That's fine. Still working on this. The adamantine one is the most covered. Yep. I believe. 24 hits. <laughs> As you begin to bludgeon the creature, bones break and shatter under the uh, powerful hits. But you notice that he's not doing as much damage as he should. Oh no, sorry. No, he's doing, he's doing exactly evil damage. So he doubles the damage, but he halves the damage? No, actually, I, I misread the descriptor. It's good against slashing and piercing, not against bludgeoning. No, oh, okay. Skelly boy hiding in the shadow of the Colossus. It's a little messy that you had wished. Me? Okay. Why not? Sure, man. Love lobbing acid. Yeah. You're, you're within 30 feet, right? Fine. Oh no, you're 25. You can move 5 feet. Yeah, he's going to step out of the skeletal swarm. And that is a net 20 to hit. A hit? That is 8 points of essay damage. Alright. Good job, skeletal and alchemist. It's your turn, Emma. What am I concentrating on? Uh, I think I just haven't ended the charm person. Oh, okay. Fine. It's a fail. Huh? It is a fail. <laughs> Jesus, if this guy dies from insults. <laughs> but Rich, it's your turn, I think, if I must add over. Alright. I must. You're going to move? Yeah. Uh -huh. Just go up to the skeleton. <coughs> I am going to cast a Banishment. No, it doesn't help release from here. I don't go anywhere. But I see we could chase after the guy if we just 
Spanish this thing. Uh, not worth it, I think. That guy's gone. I'm just gonna start blasting it with this bus. The first one is a missile. Yes. The second one is 18. 18 hits. It's 14 points of damage. All the way back. It's my turn. At the end of your turn, Bane finally manages to push himself off the spikes. Oh, uh, finally. And falls to, falls to his knees. You see blood pouring from um, his wounds. You see that one of the spikes actually pierced his cheek and his created a hole in the side of his face. A large vertical cut is covering his right eye. But he's shouting like a madman, grabs his sword, and rushes after mm -hmm. the disappearing in creature. It's okay, we'll find his body later, that's fine. Finn, it's your turn. You're inside the swarm. And I can't chase them. Hello? Yeah? Um, we're not, we're not chasing Vayne, are we? Mm. There's like a big thing in front of us that's trying to eat you. <sighs> okay. That's not gonna get me attacked, is it? I step out of like the swarm, I'm not gonna get attacked or anything. No. <coughs> okay, um Twenty six up. Yep. Get to draw that. Damage. <coughs> as, as you slash at it with your folded glaive, then you notice that your slashing attacks barely leave a mark on the floating bones that made up the creature's body. Can I switch to lightning? Well, you already made your two attacks. Oh, okay, I thought you were saying this after the first one. You can switch for next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll switch out to Lagrim. Yeah, have you actually, actually access search yet? No. But I'm, I'm, I'm jumping. Yeah, that's me. That's you? Yeah. The creature's going to move and engulf you and wave. And as the swirling bones bash at the both of you. But it... I, I don't know what to say to this. Nothing is good. This creature has two attack features, basically. One of them is a recharger <coughs> ability that basically grapples the creature and holds it in the swarm. The other is a multi attack on all creatures engulfed in the swarm. Has the, recharge, the rechargeable attack I used against Finn last turn, that was a net one. Mm. I used the multi attack now that both of them are engulfed. I wrote two net ones. <laughs> it's it's nice turn. <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't have left a minion to fight us. <laughs> I guess not! You know, at this point, I think you guys are going to catch up to those if you can fucking dispatch this guy this easily. Oh my god, dude. Oh, come on! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wave has this advantage. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wave, I have advantage against Wave. Because he's reckless. Oh, okay, okay. Oof. Okay, I, I I think this guy is bugged because oh, I rolled wow. a net twenty. <laughs> uh, I mean, why is that bugged? Just roll another one, see what happens. I only rolled net ones and net twenties. <laughs> That's your life, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do let's do some damage on this guy at least. Sorry, it's just it's messed up. How much damage is it? 
it's gonna be some stupid number, dude. I'm so glad it was, it was a wave. It was a crit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be some stupid number. Oh yeah, uh, that is 65 damage. Yep. Take up the stupid number. It was anyway except wave that did. But wave 65 before that, right? Yeah. So 32 damage. Right. And yeah, uh, 20, tw- sorry, 23 hits. 23 hits, uh, that's 9 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, wait, why am I critting? I'm not critting, it's 9 points. So I'm going to take the rest of it. Mistake. And the second attack, also with the second great club. Uh, wait, still with the two. Can I crit here? Yeah, let's fish for a crit. Yeah, 